Excuse me, mister. This is not your room. Good morning, guys. So it's day two here in Costa Rica. We're in La Fortuna, like I mentioned yesterday. The weather is pretty ugly today. Usually there's a huge volcano here that you can see all over town, but it's completely overcast, so you can't see anything at all. And um, today there's gonna be lots of thunderstorms and stuff, so I'm thinking that we're not gonna be able to do much, but we're still going to head to a park over there near the volcano and just see what we can get up to. Okay, so we come to a place called La Fortuna Waterfalls. It's about $15 per person. And we actually got here at 7 a.m. and it only opens at 8 a.m. but they let us enter anyway. The benefit of that though is that we got to, yeah, we basically got the park all to ourselves. So that's really cool. Um, we've only just walked in, but it looks like I can already see the waterfall. There it is, La Fortuna Waterfall. So we're gonna head all the way there to the bottom, get right beneath it. So we just gotta go down about 500 steps and then we'll get all the way down to the waterfall. to the bottom of the waterfall. Looks amazing. a 75 meter waterfall looks like so this one we're actually allowed to swim on like the outskirts here so yeah i think we're gonna go inside it's very humid and warm so yeah it should be cool swimming in that waterfall over there it was actually pretty nice the water and now we've come down to like this little river part here so it's really nice here as well we're just gonna chill here a bit what do you think of the waterfall I don't know which one was best. Do you think this one or the ones yesterday? Because yesterday we got to see loads of different ones, but then today this one's... This one's like the biggest I've ever seen. Yeah. That was also the biggest waterfall I've ever seen at 75 meters high. Never seen one that big. It's like so powerful as well. We just had like a little picnic here at the river. Pretty cool. And I think we're gonna head back out now. We've got to go up 500 steps, so yeah, that's definitely gonna kick our ass. We got lucky, it basically started pouring it down just the minute that we are leaving, so it was definitely a good choice to come early. We've just come to a place called Mystico Arenal Hanging Bridges Park. Basically a park with all those cool like rope bridges. I've always seen like cool photos of that. So that's, yeah, that's why we decided to do this. 
and I'm not sure how long it's gonna take the weather the weather's a bit mixed it might rain I don't know but looks like there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff here Even though me and Carol have been to like a lot of rainforests in Rio, here's just very different. It seems like there's a lot more diversity here. Every single place we go just has like completely different trees and plants. So yeah, it's pretty wacky. It's like Jurassic Park. So this is the first rope bridge. It's actually a lot more shaky than I thought. <laughs> it's really shaky, right? <laughs> I'm gonna shake it on purpose. No, So we just stopped by this little Costa Rican restaurant here. We're just gonna be trying out some of the traditional Costa Rican food and coffee. So what do we got, Carol? So this is a dish called casado. Mine is pollo, like chicken, and yours is... Uh, Mine's cabbage. fish. Yeah. And it comes with some black beans, rice, what's that over there? Cheese, yeah. Some vegetables, and then fried banana. This is awesome, guys. And then over here, we have a pretty awesome view. See a bit of the lake all the way over there. Looking good. We're going to be heading out now guys. It's still pretty early but we're pretty tired. We've done so much already today. And we're just gonna be driving to the next location and just chill out for the rest of the day. But yeah, just once again, such an awesome day. Costa Rica, I already knew here was just gonna be amazing. Like I heard so many good things about it and yeah, it's just blown me away. Like everything's so naturally beautiful. It's just crazy. It's like nature overload. Not even just the parks, even when you're just driving around everywhere, it's just completely like nature super green every single place you go so yeah i've never been to a place with this much nature before just yeah really impressive so tomorrow we're going to be doing some of the same kind of things like yeah cool parks it's going to be awesome nature once again so stay tuned for that one and i'll see you then Ooh.